Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you Razor Edit Fast Mode in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here, and I'm going to do a lot of editing in it. And my preferred way to edit is using the Razor Edit feature. And to do that, We'll hold down Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just right click drag. And that creates a Razor Edit where we could edit very quickly. We could delete it. We could cut it. We could copy it and paste it to other places, just like that. But I do find it a bit slower to use a modifier and have to right click drag, especially on my laptop using a trackpad. So I came up with a quicker way, which is going to work temporarily to make the process much quicker. The first thing I would do is go to the options menu and go down here to preferences. Then I would scroll down to mouse modifiers, under media item, left drag, and change the default action to create Razor Edit, just create. And do the same thing for media item bottom half. But for this one, create Razor Edit and add it to the selection. So we can create multiple Razor Edits. And then one more on the track context, left drag. I'm going to change this to Razor Edit, just create. So now I could just left drag in the project like this, and it creates. Razor edits each time. I could extend them, clear them, and do the same just above the media, right over here, which is the track context. So I can quickly create them and even add to the selection by going to the bottom half of the media items down here and just add to the selection or start over on the top or above the item. But there's a few drawbacks to working this way. If you want to create a time selection, we need to do it in the ruler like this, which is okay. But the bigger problem is we can't move our items like this. It creates a razor edit instead. That's why I created this mode to be temporary. So let's put this all back to the default. Media item, left drag, reset, do the same with the bottom half, reset it, and the same with the track context. Reset it. So now it's back to the default. I can create time selections in here, and we can move our items. But in order to create Razor Edits, we need to do the modifiers again. Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and right drag, red shift to it to add to the selections. So let's check out how to create Razor Edit Fast Mode. Now to make this easier, I recommend using the SWS extensions. You can get it here. And once you've installed them, you should see a menu up here called Extensions. Just choose it and go to Cycle Action Editor, which looks like this. Now we don't have to use this if you don't want, but then we need two separate custom actions to do this. We have to trigger them with two separate keyboard shortcuts. With this method, we could toggle it with just one. Now, I just learned how to use cycle actions recently by watching a video by IDDQD Sound. So definitely check out his channel and subscribe as it's one of my favorites for Reaper. So let's right click up here and add a cycle action. Let's name it Razor Edit Fast Mode. And now we can add actions over here. Let's open up the action list. Then we'll search in the filter Mod Razor Track. And we'll find this action right here for track left drag to create Razor Edits. So it's going to change the mouse modifier like we did before. Let's right click it, go to copy the command ID. And then we'll paste it up here. Right click, hit add, 
and then paste it. And don't worry about remembering all these numbers. I'll put a list of them in the info below. So this action shows up over here. And we can add as many as we want. So let's add the others as well. Let's change this to media item. Let's scroll down to media item, left drag, create, raise the edits, right click it, copy the ID, and paste that in here. And now both of these functions or actions will be triggered at once. Let's do the same thing for the bottom of the media item, but this time we're going to add it to the area instead of creating a new one. Right click it, copy the ID, and paste it here. So now all three of these actions will be triggered at once. And then we'll add a step. Put it at the bottom. That's going to separate these actions from the next ones where we put it all back to the factory default. And we could toggle it with one keyboard shortcut. So let's type in mod track factory, which shows us left drag going back to the factory default. Right click it, copy it, and paste it here. And do the same for the media item context. Media item left drag, copy the ID, and paste it right here. And do the same with the media item bottom half. Copy it and paste it here. So now these actions are going to be triggered the first time we hit a keyboard shortcut, and the second time it's going to trigger these actions. That's the purpose of the cycle action feature. Then we'll click this and apply it, close these, and now we'll go back to the action list. Let's search in the filter, razor edit fast, and that action shows up. Now we can just add a keyboard shortcut to this right here. And just pick anyone you're not using. I'm going to use F1. Now close this. And now if I type F1, all those behaviors change to make it quicker to raise an edit in our project, like this. Just create them. We can still modify them like this or like this. We could add to them by dragging down here or start over in the track context. But as you remember, we can't grab our items. Well, we can still create a time selection up here, just not within our tracks. But if we want to do that, just hit the keyboard shortcut again. And now Reaper will behave like the default. We can grab our items, move them around, or delete them. We can create time selections in here, and even do razor editing the old way. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac, to create them, and right drag. But if we want to do it quicker, hit that keyboard shortcut again, and we can create razor edits this easily. On multiple tracks, adding to the selection like this, and even do it inside envelopes. Just drag it to create one, adjust that envelope that easily. On items, on envelopes, very quickly to edit our project. And if we want to go back to the default way Reaper works, hit that keyboard shortcut again, and we're back to normal. Creating time selections, moving our items, that easily. So that's pretty much it. That's Razor Edit Fast Mode in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bonnie and Kitty being best friends. Oh!